Hey, welcome here. My name's Sam, this is our bus, and welcome to our brand new vlog. Right now we're converting a school bus into a tiny home on wheels. We're selling everything we own and we're hitting the road and going traveling. We were actually looking for a race rig to take to the motocross races when we stumbled across a guy, Navigation Nowhere, who was living in his bus full time and traveling around the States. We got talking and one thing led to another and here we are. People often ask is, you know, is it gonna be hard to leave home? Well, minus 29. That's not even including the wind chill. So, no, I don't think it's gonna be hard to leave. We bought the bus over a year ago. First thing we did was yank out the seats. I slid underneath with an impact and Carly stayed up top with a wrench. There was a lot of shouting and stuff going on. Keep going. But we got the job done. Our bus is in a nice heated shop right now, so let's head over there and check it out. So here we are at the bus. Take you for a little tour. Pretty gutted out. Nothing really left in here. I spy something little and blonde in the back, so let's go see who that is. It's Carly. Hi. So this is Carly? Yeah. Oh, there she is. Hi. Well, Sam does all the video. I'm the one who does all the hard work around here. All the scrubbing and cleaning. She jokes. She jokes. But seriously. Oh, you're actually videoing me. Our bus is uh, international. Uh, it's the T44E, whatever that means. Uh, it's got the 7.3 diesel in it. I'm not really a mechanic, but every time I tell someone we have the 7.3, they're like, yes, yes, good choice. So we figured that's probably a good thing. Um, it's a seven window, 48 passenger. I think it's 48, let me go check. So it actually hasn't taken us that long to get to this point. Thankfully, we've had some help along the way. So we took all the windows out, as you can see. We wanted to clean them up, get all the old silicone out of there, clean up the windows themselves and give them a, a nice fresh paint job. It actually came out pretty easy just to cut around the window with a knife and then pop them right out of there. A couple needed a little more persuasion than that, but Nothing an old hammer can't fix. We took out about 6,000 screws out of the ceiling. The insulation was probably the worst part. Really, really, really dusty. Probably wear a mask next time. The floor was super easy to come up. We saw videos on YouTube about people ripping up their floor, their rubber off their floor. Like, it, it doesn't work. Or at least it didn't work for us. We ended up prying up the floor with a couple of big pry bars and some muscle from our good friend Calvin. He don't mess around. Carly cut the rubber with a knife as we went along and uh, 15 minutes in, we had the entire floor out. We had a couple of holes in the floor right by the, in front of the wheel wells. We actually just cut the metal from the ceiling, made little patches and patched those in. But we also used the metal to fill in a couple windows. We're gonna put a wood stove and fridge and stuff in so we wanted a couple of them filled in. That about wraps it up here for today. Let's head on back home and get comfy for the evening. So now you're all caught up. It's time to kick back, have some shrimp tacos, binge watch some office, and we'll catch you in the next one.